What's up everyone, welcome to this episode of Mod of the Day, and I'd like to apologise real quick that there's been no episode for three days, basically I've been really really busy and it's been hard to even get a chance to sit at the computer and do an episode. Anyway, let's crack on. As you can see, we've got a fox-like race in front of me right now. This is called the Lil Mo Feet race, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, which I most probably am not, as always. Now, this of course is a work in progress, as you can tell by looking at the actual features, because yes, it is quite low quality, and the eyes do shine. In my opinion, the eyes do look like kind of cut out of paper and stuck on with some kind of glue. But Again, you've got to give the offer some slack, this is a work in progress, this won't be the final product. Now, the main thing I like this, the main reason I like this, is because it's extremely law friendly. Because according to Elder Scrolls lore, these were a vulpine-like race, and they were thought to be extinct since they have not been seen in ages, and they once inhabited Black Marsh. Now, they've got some background to them. Uh, legitimately in Elder Scrolls, so that's why I do like the idea. It just needs some major help. And as always, if you are a texturist and you know how to make this look good, don't be afraid to contact the author. Although I believe this is only on the Steam Workshop as of yet. Now, let's go to actually changing some things. You can actually change the race, of course, to a female if you prefer to be a female. Um, and I believe it's a different model for the female, headwise. As you can see, it looks a bit different. On a slightly bit a bit. Um, as for the face, let's go to the face. Skin tone, there's a few different skin tones. Uh, that's my weight. No, not change my weight. Wrong slider, I'm sorry. Skin tone. There we go, got a few skin tones there. All pretty cool. I think I'll go with that one. Now, there's not much you can do as in customising the face right now. War paint apparently has been added. Uh, if I can see any, I can't see any. I can't see the mythical war paint, but apparently it has been added in an update, but I don't think it's been updated properly because I can't see no war paint. Uh, scars, of course, they don't work, as you can tell by numbers as well. Dirt also doesn't work. But the ones that do work is mostly like face morphing as nose, such as, I don't know if nose type works, but other stuff does work. That doesn't work if you go to nose height. There we go. So we can get some difference in this and those length. I wanna be a short, snubby ass dog. Um, hmm, I believe there's also hair. I mean, I believe you can change other stuff, but I'm not really sure what you can change. I've been through it a few days ago, there you go, Joe. Cause I wanted to review this quite a few days ago, but I had no chance, I had no time to do it. Uh, yeah, I can make him look like a rabid dog, so to speak. All this can be changed. <laughs> Uh, it's not too bad, I mean, the textures are a bit crap, but to be honest, yeah, I mean, it's to be expected. Not to mention, you know, you can actually, it only looks bad because the rest of the game looks so good because of all the texture improvements I've added, you know what I mean, that's why it looks so good, it's not exactly a bad thing. Now, let's go back up close, let's see if the eyes work now, because... The information I'm reading is kind of old because he might have updated it since then. Or she. There you go, eye colours. Please fix the eyes. They kill me. Right, these have to be the best eyes because they look um, crazy to be quite honest. Uh, th these two are the best eyes by far. Um, of course it needs a lot of work and I know some people won't even download it until it's finished. If it ever gets finished, which I hope it will do. Because it's good. There we go. Brow width and stuff works as well. So you can make him look like a crazy, crazy fox. Mouth shape. No, 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 no. Mouth height, there you go. So it's still customizable. It's just a bit weird at the moment. And let's have a look at the hair we can have. Let's zoom out real quick. Apparently custom hair for this has been added. Like that, that. We got just about the earrings, we got the earrings again. Let's get a better colour of hair. The hair's the same colour it seems all the way through. I should remember this because I did check this out a few days ago. I, I ran through it real quick. And uh, that's pretty much what you can do with him right now. There's not much you can actually do. To be honest, my biggest gripe, textures, low quality textures I can handle sometimes, but the eyes. Please fix the eyes. They don't look nice. Yes, mind. Come by Bellator's shop. Mind your manners and pay your bills. 
I haven't even bought from you, so shut the hell up. But yeah, you can see it's got a nice little tail. You want a drink? No! It don't look too bad no running around questions. in the game. It's just up close. It looks kind of crappy, but you know, now it looks not that bad, even though his eyeballs have gone black. But police fix the eyeballs and I'll be totally pleased for now. I ain't done. But uh, one thing I did notice a few days ago, let's see if it still happens, there's a, a noticeable seam around the neck, which is kind of crappy. I don't like that either, but what can we do? Hopefully some modders are going to help this guy. You see, you can notice a seam, because it's like, it's like a Khajiit's body, pretty much. But, um... You can see the seam quite easily, and that's something I don't like. But once you, but you don't go around naked, dear. You? you wear your armor, and there you go, armor on. You can't see the seam no more. It looks not too bad. So hopefully this will get updated and made perfect. Now I will mention one more thing. This video is going on too long. It should have been fast by now, but I'm very tired and I can't really streamline stuff right now. Anyway, <clears throat> this also has a vampire version, that's right, vampirism is supported, which of course means the appearance will change if I turn into a vampire. That's right, vampire version. What? Why are now, you looking at me? take a good ass look at that ugly ass fox, and I will turn him into a vampire. Brandish his blade, he's told the ball battles in gold he had made. Uh, I'm getting carried away. Anyway, as you can see, but he's turned into a vampire, but I've encountered a problem. I'm glowing. I'm glowing. Please fix. Fix yourself. Stop glowing, you stupid ass fox. Hmm. I think it's going. It's finally gone. Well, let's look at the vampire version of the fox. Yes, you can definitely see it's changed. It's also got bigger fangs now sticking out. It looks like he's been on left, to be quite honest. But yeah, that is the vampire version of Little Foxy. Oh yeah. Vampire burning fox. Anyway, bonuses. We've also got race specific power, definitely instinct, which regenerates stamina faster and detects life for 60 seconds. And he's also got a race specific ability, which increases stamina. And the rest of the stats are similar to any other physical combat race. So that is pretty much it. Now I also heard there's two new followers in the Sleeping Giant Inn. So before I end this video, I'll go and have a quick look down there. Alright then, let's go put this to the test. Now remember one thing, the author did say that lip syncing has been improved. So we've got one follower there and the other one over there, making some crack. What do you need? Uh, like you can imagine. Tersum. Uh, yes? Well, that's an easy word to lip sync, of course. You know. Uh, something in your mouth there? Yeah. Don't know what is going on with that. Lip off. Need something? That's that. That lip syncing's all right. I have to admit, that lip syncing was all right. Need something? Was fine. Of course, as that's just glitched. That I think it's something to do with another mod. But what do you need? What do you need? See, it works fine. Lead the way. Yeah, lip syncing is. Out of my I've way. I've got to say, it has been improved since last time I tried smile it. On you, friend. Yeah, lip syncing has been improved greatly. That lip syncing is kind of great for the actual snout. We got rooms and food, drink too. I talk cook. to me, doggy. Ain't much else to tell. Yes. No. What do you need? See, perfect. Mm -hmm. It's just the textures. Please fix the textures, and I will give you a shiny pony. Uh, and I promise I won't rape it. What anyway, that is it for this episode. It's been a unneedly long one. It didn't need to be this long, but you know, I get carried away sometimes. You know me. I'm kind of eccentric sometimes. And but I'm tired. I do tend to ramble. Look, I'm rambling right now with a deer skull. Anyway, thank you for watching as always. Please like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to go and check this mod out on the Steam Workshop and give it a subscribe and maybe even help the author because uh, this does need a lot of work in my opinion texture wise that's it the rest of it seems to be working fine so improve the textures and we've got a new law friendly race in Skyrim for us to use oh yeah anyway as always thank you for watching